the, the other question would be, or maybe an extension of your question, is why does God tolerate right. the continued existence of those who reject him? And I guess there's a two-part answer to that. So God is a creator. He's not a destroyer. God permits evil to exist in order to bring forth greater good. And, and to put that in, in kind of a perspective on Holy Saturday Vigil, when we celebrate the, the Mass of, of the Lord's Resurrection. So that Mass on Holy Saturday night is the longest Mass of the year. The Church calls that Mass the, 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 the kind of the Mother Liturgy of, of the Church. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There is a line within that liturgy that in Latin says, O Felix culpa, O happy fault. And it's referring to the fall of, the, of Adam that purchased for us so great a Redeemer. Mm -hmm. So Adam's fall was disastrous. It was horrific. We have coffins today because of the fall. We have penicillin. We have winter jackets. We have snow plows. Uh, we have COVID, <laughs> we have HIV, diabetes, and every other illness because of the fall of Adam. Mm. We have hell uh, insofar as, as, as it can be a dwelling for human beings because of the fall of Adam. Nevertheless, his fall necessitated for us a Redeemer. And that's what we obtained in the incarnation of Jesus Christ, that the good far surpasses the evil. And so you could say, well, look, wouldn't it have been better if Adam had never sinned at all? And what the church is saying is no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave it up to God create something. to create a plan B that is better than plan A. <laughs> Amen. Yeah.